Hey, this is Daniel from Matarama. Today on set, I just want to talk quickly about diagnosing a problem when your flash isn't firing. This happens to a lot of people and you're on a job and you have all your stuff set up and you have your camera, you go to make the first photo and your flash doesn't fire. So a lot of times people freak out a little bit. I get a lot of people that come to me and say, oh, something's broken. I'm just gonna show you the steps that I follow so I can figure out what the problem is and why it's not working. So the first thing you wanna do is take your two radios and be sure that they're communicating with each other. So here I have two Pocket Wizard Multimaxes. The first thing I wanna do is take my transmitter and my receiver and see if they communicate. So I'm gonna press the test button on my transmitter. And when I do, this button here on my receiver should light up. You see how I'm pressing on the transmitter and nothing's lighting up on my receiver? That means they're not communicating. That could be one of two things. They have both channels, right? And they have zones down here. You can see that they're both on channel 17, so they should be working, but one is on zone A and the other one is on zone C. So if I go ahead and put this on A instead of C, and now I test it again, we see they're communicating. So if that was your problem, you're probably working now, right? Okay, so if the two radios are speaking to each other, your next problem that it could be is the sync cord. Always have extra sync cords with you. Obviously, when you're on location, here's a sync cord for this system. I'm gonna plug one end into the receiver and then one end into my strobe. This is a Profoto B1. It's a battery powered strobe here. And the sync cord plugs in right here. Okay, so with that plugged in, I press the test button on my receiver and I see that it fires. Now I know that there's not a problem between my receiver and my strobe unit. Now I, press, now I press the test button on my transmitter and that works. So basically I'm working all the way through here. The only other place it could be is the connection between my camera and my transmitter, which could be a sync cord in some cases, but in this case it would just be on the top of the camera on the hot shoe. Sometimes if the radio is too loose or too, or too tight, you'll have problems. So you want to snug it down so it's not going to fall off, but not too much. And then you just take your camera and just take a random shot. That works. Also notice that when I fire the camera, this lights up. So if I'm not near my flash unit and I want to just quickly check this part of it, I can just put the, fly, the transmitter on top of my camera and press the button and this should light up. So this is, means the camera is making the transmitter work. When you fire the transmitter, the receiver should light up. That means the transmitter is communicating with the receiver. And when you press the receiver, the flash should fire. So anywhere in this chain could be the problem. You just want to calmly work your way through the system to figure out where your issue is. Always have with you extra sync cords and extra batteries because sometimes if your batteries are low, you'll have intermittent firing as well. That could be another problem. So remember, if you have any problems like this, just calmly work your way through it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next time on set.